Hello, Dr. Dyke Drummond here from thehappymd.com. And in this brief video, let me show you what I call the pathophysiology of burnout. I'll show you a new metaphor for understanding energy levels and the three energetic bank accounts inside each physician. In the end, you're going to know exactly why there are only two basic ways to prevent and treat physician burnout. Let's get started. But first, let me bust a metaphor. A lot of time when we're talking about energy, we'll use the metaphor of a battery. And imagine this though, if I have a battery and it's in a child's toy, the battery runs out of energy, what happens to the toy? Yeah, it stops working. And that just isn't appropriate when you're describing energy in a doctor, because you and I both know that we can run on empty for a very long period of time. In fact, part of our residency education was to see just how long we could keep functioning when we had no gas in the tank. So let me introduce you to a new metaphor. I call it an energetic bank account. And just like in the real world, your bank account can be overdrawn. You can owe money in that account and the account is still there. Doctors can overdraw their energetic bank accounts and function on less than zero for a very long period of time. Let me show you a diagram of this account and you'll understand what I mean more clearly. So here's a diagram of an energetic bank account. You'll see at the top, it has a full mark. About two thirds of the way down is E, that stands for empty. And anything below that is a negative balance. And if I asked you right now, how's your physical energy been for the last week or so on average, you could point with your finger to where you are in the energetic bank account. See, there's three of these though, and each one corresponds to one of the symptoms of burnout. Let's walk through those one at a time. Symptom number one of burnout is exhaustion. So the first energetic bank account is your physical bank account. The amount of physical energy available to you at any given time. Obviously, if you want to keep that bank account full, you're going to need to get plenty of rest, exercise, nutrition, take care of your physical energy needs. Bank account number two corresponds to the second symptom of burnout, which is cynicism, sarcasm, and compassion fatigue because you are emotionally depleted. The second energetic bank account is your emotional energetic bank account. And that is kept full by having healthy relationships, by getting your emotional needs met so that you can be available for the emotional needs of other people. And the last energetic bank account, well, bank account number three corresponds to the third symptom of burnout, which is lack of efficacy or feeling like your work doesn't make a difference, like it doesn't serve a purpose, like it has no meaning. And I call this your spiritual energetic bank account, because when we are connected to a sense that our work has a higher purpose and that we have meaning in our life, that's connection with spirit for me. And it may or may not be connected with a particular religious belief. If you think about it, we have three energetic bank accounts, a physical account, an emotional account, a spiritual account. And what's our job as doctors? Fairly easy to keep those accounts in a positive balance so that we have something to give at work and we have something to give at home to our families and loved ones. It's when those energetic bank accounts drop below zero in a downward spiral and stay there that you begin to experience burnout and all of its effects and complications. So when you understand these energetic bank accounts, it becomes clear there's only two ways to keep them in a positive balance. One, less drain at work. So do something so that work is less draining to your energy and anywhere else that you feel drained. For instance, your primary relationship may be having some difficulties. Address that to decrease the drain. Your parenting skills and, and, and your family situation may be having some difficulties. Financial situation. Get those things handled and decrease your drain. That's tactic number one. And tactic number two is to get better at recharging those bank accounts with whatever recharges them for you. Most of the time, that's life balance. Most of the time, for most of us, the activities of our life are where we get our main recharge into these accounts. Occasionally, you'll have things at work that will recharge you too. Like when a patient thanks you or you have a particularly rewarding encounter with someone who has a significant illness. So there you have it. 
the pathophysiology of burnout, the three energetic bank accounts, and the two ways that you can prevent or treat burnout. Lessen the drain, get better at recharging. In the next video in this burnout prevention video training series, I'll show you the burnout prevention matrix and over a hundred different individual ways that you can lower your stress and prevent burnout in your life. Dyke Drummond, thehappymd.com. Keep breathing and you have a great rest of your day.